Today, I'd like to show you a do-it-yourself method of producing a better reservoir for your air gardens. It has a better capacity, and it's fairly easy to put together. The part list for today's project is listed in the description of this video. This uh, drill bit is 10 millimeters. After you have that hole drilled, uh, you can notice along the edges that sometimes there's a burr from the uh, drill going through, and feel free to uh, kind of clean that up a little bit, but be careful not to uh, drill this hole any larger, and also uh, if you're using a uh, knife or a spoon or something like that, not to accidentally take a chunk out on the side because you want that to be as round as possible because we're going to take what is called a um, quarter inch top hat rubber grommet and all we're going to do is push that the narrow end into the hole in the bucket the uh, wider brim will uh, sit flat against the uh, bucket and on the inside of the bucket there's a little nub where that rubber piece goes through. The tubing that I'm using is uh, from a company called Autopot, and there's other tubing that's out there. The advantage of this is that on the outside diameter of the tube, it's a quarter inch, and quarter inch is a nice standard. And twist back and forth and try to get that tubing to push through. And there you have it. The uh, tubing is now pushed through that rubber top hat grommet and it protrudes into the bottom of the bucket where it's going to pick up the water. Or uh, you could even put nutrients in and uh, use that to top off your air gardens. Another nice idea is to uh, come out about uh, 8 to 12 inches from the bucket and put a uh, shut off valve in. And these are amazingly cheap because you can go to a drip irrigation uh, section of a hardware store and pick up these in a bag. And they're simple to put together. All you have to do is uh, cut that tubing and these uh, pointed ends twist back and forth until that tubing is seated all the way up at the base of that valve. And it's just like the, uh, opening a, a can, left loose, right tight. Notice that there's no drilling through the side of the air garden reservoir to put this together. The uh, tubing that we were working with um, comes down, it's uh, sitting up above that reservoir is, and it's draining down through the tubing and it runs into the valve. It uses one of the ports on the deck of the air garden. So you do give up uh, one of your grow ports, but you know if you're growing a lot of things like Meikendorf tomatoes um, or some of the larger lettuce plants, you probably don't want to use all nine sites to start with. Um, part that is underneath the deck is this part, and that gray unit is called a Hudson valve. It has a uh, float inside of it. There's three parts there. Uh, the part this tubing goes into is a shark bite fitting. So that's a quarter inch push to connect. You push the tubing into it and it locks and it's watertight. Real simple to do that. The opposite end of that is a quarter inch pipe thread and that quarter inch pipe thread is a male adapter that uh, screws into the female adapter that's on the top of that Hudson valve. and then this uh, nylon washer, I put that on there because what that does for me is it keeps this uh, float valve from dropping to the bottom of the reservoir. By holding it tight up against the uh, top of the deck there, what happens is you get the maximum amount of water in the reservoir. The uh, water level will be right about here and so that's pretty close to the base of the uh, baskets that we use for the air garden. This is what I wanted you to see. The uh, use of the quarter inch Hudson valve is very narrow and it goes up through that uh, grow deck easily and it leaves a slight gap between the top of the deck and the uh, 
I'm sorry, the yeah, bottom of the deck and the top of that valve. Now that's what you want because the Arrow Garden has uh, water ports and when the water pumps up from the pump, they come out here. So if you had something obstructing this area, the water will hit that and it will come up onto the deck and flood the top of the deck and actually run over the edge onto the floor. And I've seen that happen in my experiments. And so the importance of the uh, gap spacing underneath there is quite important. So I'm going to set this right back down. We'll go ahead and uh, fill up that reservoir and give you an opportunity to see what happens. And here you have it in action. The three and a half gallon um, bucket that I'm using for a reservoir is above the level of this air garden, so it drains down. And when I fill the bucket up, I just put a little bit of water in because usually you will want to check to find out if anything is leaking. But since everything looked like it was watertight, no leaks uh, from that rubber top hat grommet or the uh, shutoff valve where I'd sliced the line and inserted that, I was uh, content enough to go ahead and fill the bucket up. And what you see before you right now is the base of the uh, Hudson valve. You can see the dripping and it's not a uh, strong flow because it's gravity feed. When the uh, shark bite fitting uh, screws onto the uh, Hudson valve, I would take a little bit of uh, Teflon tape and wrap the uh, pipe threads on the shark bite fitting. When it gets up to a marked level on the inside of the garden, go ahead and leave the uh, lid off like I've got here. I've got the water line sitting right about the fill to here mark. It looks like the uh, water level is holding fine. Hopefully this uh, helps. This is a, uh, oh, kind of an intermediate project for air gardeners. And it does uh, offer that amazing benefit that you can scale up your reservoir beyond the uh, one gallon per garden that's offered through the air garden company called the Aerovore. So any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. I will be uh, happy to follow up on this project and let you see how it goes.